Hi fellow YouTubers, this is Arcade Obsessed and I thought I'd uh, put a video together of my passion for arcade machines. I've seen a lot of you guys on um, YouTube putting your passion in of what you guys do and stuff and I thought I'd get along and jump on the band bandwagon with you. A uh, big shout out to the main YouTuber guys that I actually watch, um, Gamester81, Inecom Company, I think it's Classic Game Room, I believe. Um, Luke Morse One, Ryan, aka Danks, and um, a new one that I've just recently got onto is Arcade Impossible. And these guys obviously get together and buy a machine every month. And the fella, the main guy there that puts everything together, he's a fellow DJ just like myself. So got something in common. I just wanted to talk about the machine that I've got and the history about it too. So here we go. This is my pride and joy. <laughs> uh, as you can see, this particular machine is called a Leisure and Allied Cabinet, LAI Cabinet, and it was used at Time Zone, one of the family centres here in Melbourne, Australia. Um, there's only two left, I think. Two, two, not two machines, but two game centres left in Melbourne. Um, don't quote me on that. This thing is my pride and joy, and the things that I have done with this machine, you wouldn't believe it. Um, the history of this machine, I bought it 10 years ago off a company, and um, I bought it for the intention of having it in uh, the place of business where I was working at the time. And yeah, I managed to get it in there, and it was all approved by senior management and stuff, which was a bit of a nightmare, but yeah, I got it in there, and obviously because it's my sh machine, I... Uh, you know, colleagues and friends and randoms that I, you know, obviously didn't know were banging down on it, treating lo treating it like it's, I suppose, it's supposed to be treated. But when it's your when it's your baby and you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it, you don't like seeing that happen. So I pulled it out of the company that I was working at, and I think I think the guy that I bought it off, he wanted a cut too because he transported it there. I can't remember the the full gist of it. Anyway, so I had it for a while, and a friend at the time, a good friend at the time, he had one of those, the latest Nokia 7110 mobile phone, and um, <clears throat> I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I said to him, do you want to swap? Give me the phone, I'll give you the arcade machine, a lot of you guys would probably hate me for that. Anyway, so we did, yeah, and then years went by, and I ended up buying a petrol-operated RC car, WRX remote control car, and he loved it, he loves his cars, a bit of a rev head, and I said, do you want to do another deal, let's swap back, so I got it back, and the machine, I'm glad he said yes, he was sort of spewing a few years later after I did it up, but he was a man of his word, and he was a good mate, um, so yeah, I got it back, and it was in, not in very good condition, of course, because the guy's probably just thrashed it, being being blokes living in, in the one place together. So I finally got it back and I just, yeah, I went nuts on it. <laughs> this machine can do everything. Um, and let me go through those for you now and I might put a list in the description panel. As you can see, it's a two player six button configuration. I installed the yellow credit button there uh, because I've got a Blue Elf version 2 2009 cart in there as well. It's complete jammer with jammer plus with kick harness because, as I said, it came with Street Fighter Zero Three and NBA Jam. Um, I will do other videos of inside the cabinet and how neat and all that sort of stuff is in there because uh, I like things to be neat. Um, but I've completely finished now. I don't have to do anything more to it. <coughs> um, so yeah, getting back to that, there's a Blue Elf version two, two thousand and nine. Don't buy it, it's ridiculous. Um, next thing, credit button, blue elf. Okay, so the glass, I've replaced the glass. That's the second pane of glass that I bought. It's a clear, it's, it's polished edges, the whole lot, safety glass, even with the, uh, the watermark there that the guys put on because it's safety. <coughs> um, there was a tinted glass on it because I originally had a 60... I think it's a 68 centimeter RCA tube in it with a Wells Gardener 49 K49 100 chassis. 
And seriously, guys, you know what it's like. Okay, all the purists out there, and I totally understand. Um, getting getting the picture right, especially when you're running multi games, it just did my head in. If you've got the one game in, yep, you set it up for that one game and walk away. Especially if it's in a vendor situation. But when you want to play multiple games, <laughs> it it did my head in. Convergence issues. I took it somewhere, and it got worse before it, after he fixed it. I shouldn't have done it. Um, but long story short, I ended up, this is another purist thing, but I ended up buying a, a Suzo Hat Pro Vision LCD, 22 inch LCD monitor. Now, um, that's also, I just remembered another shout out to your MK Arcade Source. He's quite helpful as well. He actually ended up getting the 26 inch version. I got the 22. The Mortal Kombat cabinets in America are actually wider than the Australian LAI, LAI cabinet. So I'm really glad I only got the 22 because the 26 would have been going back to Chicago at my expense, $300 shipping. So I got this 22 inch LCD monitor. I installed it, very, very excited. I even made a, I didn't make it, I actually got a plastics company locally where I was used to live to make a 22 inch bezel for me. I wanted to get it vacuum formed, where that would have cost 300 bucks for one prototype, so I didn't do that. Um, it's just a flat bezel. <coughs> I put some black tape around the LCD, so you couldn't see any metal underneath it, and to be honest, it's the guts nuts, ducks nuts, or whatever you call it. I, I love it, I really do, and it looks heaps better in person. Um, Mark he Mark he Mark he light is new. Um, I really want to get a new Mark he Mark he Classics. That's just something I found on the internet and got one of the local printers to print. I want something more vibrant that sticks out. So I'll work on that's that's probably the, the last thing I'll do. Anyway, so this has got the yeah, it's got the LCD uh, screen in it. <clears throat> <laughs> when I was moving from my old house, I found some playing playing card instructions. So I, I put them under the glass as well, quite meticulously, with double-sided tape. And, yeah, this I love it. Now, because I was sick of actually changing jammer boards over, and I've got one in the cupboard, it's Street Fighter. It's a CPS System 3 cab, um, jammer game. And it's second impact. Now... I'm really into Third Strike, um, Killer Instinct 1 and Killer Instinct 2, but I've, I've rang the, the, the board that's currently in here at the moment is a Baby Star 1940 and 1, and I love it, I absolutely love it, especially with the LCD screen, I'm really, really impressed. When... When I first turned this image on, especially using, a, say, what was I using? The Blue Elf, using the 10-pin connector that obviously goes into a chassis, the RGBS connection, CGA, I think it is. Because this particular monitor has got a CGA input and a VGA input. When I first put it in, I did a little few adjustments, and the graphics are very chunky because it was so clear. So what I did is I bought a scanline generator and I don't know whether you can see it but no, I might have to edit it edit the actual clip so I might have to come back and say take two but I bought a scanline generator and um, yeah unbelievable the, you, you actually get the artifacts of a CRT screen. Just quickly before I go, because time's running out, I've also made this. This is basically a wall plate to run PlayStation 3. So there you go, via VGA. So I've got a HD Fury thing in the cupboard. So HDMI to VGA, which is really good. All right. Now, because I've got the flash on, because of the iPhone 4, I'll have to actually do another quick video. So, sorry about that, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Cheers, guys.